Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. I do have a little bit of um, other crafts thrown in there. Um, but yeah, so if you like some crochet, just grab you something to drink, and let's just enjoy some good old yarny talk. I'm just drinking plain old black coffee. <laughs> okay, today's video is all about a um, crochet along, and it could be a knit along as well if you prefer knitting over the crochet. Uh, but this will be my first crochet along, and I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, it just came to me. I was um, in there crocheting and working on something, and then all of a sudden I was like, that could be my crochet along for the year because you guys know that was on my go. And um, it was something I've been wanting to do. And I just um, wasn't sure what to do because <laughs> there's so much stuff going on out, out there. Well, anyway, so I decided that if I'm doing this all year long, I want to include you guys. And so maybe you guys can do this along with me. So let's just see what the crochet along is all about. You will be making um, kitchen towel holders for the entire year. So, and you think, why would I wanna do that? Well, because um, January, February, March, each month, you will do one that is theme related to that month. And just go to your stores, they always have them. It, when it's fall, they've got the towel holders that are got leaves on them. Uh, when winter starts, they've got them with snow, snowmen, um, you know, all those different types. And so all you have to do is make one towel holder a month. And then what you do is at the end of the year, in December, you give your 12 that you made as a Christmas gift to someone special in your life. And they get one to hang up on their stove all year long and they they will remember you that you're the one who made that and that will be special to them so um this is what i've got so far this is january and i've chose blue for january because i don't know some reason when i think of new year i think of blue and like gold and white and um i don't know why but i do so i just chose a plain blue for january february of course, it's Valentine, so I chose this one. And um, here's another Valentine. And there's this Valentine with the pink. This one, I think, is my favorite. Um, and then there's this Valentine. So, and you ask, why do you got so many Valentines? <laughs> well... Actually, I got a lot of Valentine's because I'm, I am making three sets this year instead of just one. Every month, I'm going to make three kitchen towel holders. And so here's the deal. This will be easy. It will be fun. It takes less than an hour to make these. So it's an easy crochet along that you can stick to and not get bored with. And it gives you something exciting to go shopping for because uh, every month, you get to run to your, like I said, to your local Dollar General, Dollar Tree, your Walmart, or whatever store that you buy your little hand towels. Um, just go to your local store, buy one hand towel, and it will make two because you just split it in half. Now, that is if you use my tutorial. I'm going to uh, leave a link to my tutorial uh, in the description box, and you can just uh, click on that and see how they're made. I think I may have two tutorials out. Um, but there are other ways. I've seen lots of other people make their towel holders different ways. So you do not have to use my tutorial. I'm just, it's just a suggestion because <laughs> there's so many other tutorials out there and so many different styles and I love them all. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter which one you use um, as long as you make a towel topper. That's what the crochet along really is, is to make 12 towel toppers <laughs> and one for each season um, one for each holiday, however you want to throw each month in there, that is, um, what the crochet along is all about. 
And I'm so excited about this. I am doing this and I thought, well, why not include you guys? So be sure and when you do this to link, uh, I mean, go to my Facebook group page, post your pictures and show off what you've done, your towel holder for that month. I mean, it's going to be exciting. I am so excited about it. And like I said, I am making three. So you wonder like, okay, well, who's the fourth one? Uh, because you get two towel, you buy one towel and you get two. And so if I have to buy two towels, I actually get four out of that. So I haven't decided yet um, on my, I went ahead and just made an extra one. Uh, this one right here is my extra. So um, I'm really not sure. So I'll figure that out later. So I guess technically I'm going to make four, uh, yeah, technically I'm going to make four a month. So I'm going to buy two towels every month and make four of these per month. But like I said, you don't have to. You can just buy one towel and make one a month. That's just up to you. But then by January, you've made all these and you have a gift to give someone. And then if you did end up making two a month, you have two gifts to give someone. And how excited will they be to receive 12 towel toppers uh, for every season and every holiday? I mean... It's a win-win. <laughs> okay, so um, I actually had some previous ones already that um, my sister had bought these on clearance or something last year, and I had not done anything with them, so I've already got them pre-cut. So this one I thought would be a good September one. I've already cut it in half, and the yarn that I have for this one, because since I got two out of it, it's down in the bottom. But here's the colors. This is my Brava yarn, Brava worsted. And I thought that this was really pretty with this. And here is the yellow. So it's probably going to be done in this and trimmed out in this. Um, and then of course, I've already cut mine. So there's um, two, um, see, one, two, yeah. And so here's my other one already set. So I have my three that I plan on doing. And then there's the colors. And that is for September. And since I already had those, I don't know if I may just wait to do those in September because, like I said, I've already done January and February. There's no need of me going ahead. I want to do it month by month like you guys are doing. Okay, and then this one uh, was, is for my Thanksgiving one. And it says, Happy Foxgiving. And I just thought it was adorable. And so this, once again, this is my Brava yarn. See, I love Brava worsted yarn. I just can't talk enough about it. But see, look at those colors. I mean, their colors go with everything. So there's that one. This one is for November. And there's my three. So I've got to do the three toppers. And like I said, this is September. Let me get these back in the bag. Um... I am so excited over this, guys. I hope you are, too. Um, okay, and then I found December. Now, I may change up my December because Christmas, they have such cute ones, so I don't really know. But this is one. It says, um, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. So, um, the colors for that one, it, I used using my Brava, so there it is. So, yeah, so I've already got December. And, um, I am like ready, <laughs> ready to get started on this project. So I hope you guys, uh, join me with this crochet along. I think that it will be a lot of fun. It will be a stress relief for you when December comes and you get ready to, uh, give a gift. You will have 12 of these and, um, but I'm actually taking mine a little step farther. <laughs> um, my mother loves my crochet slippers. She can't get enough of them. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. And I know at her house, she's probably wearing a pair as well. And so I decided that I'm always, her birthday is in November. And I'm always like, okay, I got to make her up five pairs, you know. And because that's what she likes. Like she likes me to give her five or six, either for, you know, for a birthday, well, for a birthday and then like for Christmas. So I thought, you know, this year, since I'm making these, I may go ahead and make her a pair of slippers, one pair each month, according to the season and the holiday and to kind of sort of match the towels. So um, what I did is 
I've already started on her January. So this is her January. She gets this slipper. And um, I kind of wish that I didn't. When I started this row right here, I started in the blue. Then I changed to the white. I kind of wish I just started in the white and went up. But I don't know. Maybe I'm sure it's going to look really cute. Let me get that off. See, I'm already on the second pair. <laughs> but I think it's going to be cute. Have It'll look like a ribbon through there. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> but anyway, so this will be her January pair. And then I've already got the yarn pulled out. For February, um, it's going to be um, red and pink and white slippers. So, and I don't have to start on those till next month. But by the end of the year, she'll have 12 pairs of slippers. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys uh, join in with me on this crochet long. Like I said, it is my first one. And I'm super excited about it, as you can tell. Uh, I can't quit smiling. Um, but I just really feel like this is something that you can make and it won't be so stress on you. Like, oh my gosh, I got to do that crochet long. Oh my gosh, I got to get that done. Because it only takes you less than an hour to make one of these little toppers. Um, and you, it gives you a chance to be able to go shopping <laughs> that we all like to do to find you a little towel, you know. Um, I mostly find mine at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you guys will uh, join in on this crochet knit along with me. Um, and it could be a craft along too, because some people take pot holders. They take one towel and they take a pot holder and attach the pot holder, just go down the seam and then fold it over and then put a button. So, you know, it could be a make along as well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and do our 365 days to end this video. And like I said, I really look forward to you, all of your um, towel toppers on my Facebook group page. Um, okay, so today it says, before I speak, to watch over mouth and tongue is to keep out of trouble. And that is so true. I was telling my husband just the other day in the car, you know, I said, that's one thing that, um, the one flaw about me is sometimes I feel like I talk too much and I say a little bit too much that may offend someone because the way I talk sometimes, I'm a sort of a, like a blunt person. Uh, I just say what I think instead of, um, I try to hold back and think, okay, before you say that, how's it going to sound? And it's easy for me to do that if other people are talking. And if I want to say something, sometimes I can roll it over in my mind and um, kind of sort of control my boldness or my bluntness, I guess you could say. And then there's times where I just blurt it out and then I'm like, oh, why did I say that? Or why did I say that? Or did I say that too harsh? Did, you know, I had started having all these things. And um, so anyway, <laughs> besides that, um, so it's before I speak. Yeah. So our mouth and our tongue can get us in trouble. It says, God, I seldom need your forgiveness more than for the words I say. How often my tongue gets me into trouble. Yes. Your words always give life. Mine are not always so generous. That's me. I mean, I try, I really do. Like I said, sometimes it just, things just slip. Not mean things, but it may just be the way that I say it or the fact, fact that sometimes my bluntness comes off as being harsh when it, I don't mean for it to be. Okay. Um, as soon as I've said something unkind, I know it. I long to take it back. But once it's out there, I can only apologize to the recipient and to you. Please forgive me. Will you help me with this, Lord? Lock my lips and help me think before I speak, especially when I'm agitated. Mm -hmm. Before I say a word, help me ask myself, is this necessary, true, and kind? Will this build up or tear down? Only then let me speak. Do you think before you speak? That's for all of us to think about. <laughs> um, I'm a yes, I think before I speak, and I'm also a no before I think I speak. So, there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I look forward to seeing everyone's makes. And please, please join along with me. This is going to be so much fun. And it will be something that not only you will get fun out of, but your recipient will get fun from this as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.